No, my face is not broken. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video, and uh, before we start the video, let's give a huge shout out to today's sponsor. We are at the computer, um, pretty much just gonna be loading it up. Pretty standard stuff, make sure to enter in your VIN number to your car, everything will just load on up, pretty self-explanatory, pretty easy stuff. Now, we're gonna go ahead and try to find some things we need to get fixed on our car. The first thing I, you know, that most people need to end up replacing is their air filter. Some people don't know exactly where that's at, what you need to remove exactly. The good thing about this software, it, every little thing, it has pictures, a description. Um, so yeah, for example, I'm gonna be looking for the air filter here. And uh, once I find it, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, click on it. Let me see where it is. So yeah, pretty much just click on the air filter there and you can see, it tells you where to remove all the bolts and pretty much just an easy pull out, pull in. You don't need to remove any extra stuff there. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna be looking at a couple other things here. But uh, another thing is like an axle. We did Johnson's car. I didn't really know, you know, if that's the problem, you can check it. Uh, you know, you can you can see what you need to remove. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it, uh, find the rear axle and uh, let's go ahead and click on that real quick. And it pretty much shows you pictures of like step by steps. It's actually pretty cool. So if you guys don't know much about fixing cars and you guys wanna get into it, this is a very, very neat website. It gives you a manual for any car. And uh, yeah, you can check out how to fix it. If you guys like the idea of having a manual any of any car at your disposal, make sure to check out their company down below. That's the first link down below. If you guys actually have an M3, I probably end up linking the M3 manual. It just basically makes your life a whole lot easier when you try to fix your car. It'll show you more in depth. And if YouTube doesn't have it, they have it. But anyways, let's get back to the video. The University of Tennessee. It's time for some motivational there. shit. What um, am I listening to? As a business to? owner now. Get up, let's go. I said I can't. I said I can't move. All right, guys, we just got here to Joanne. So we're gonna go ahead and just pick up some fabric so we can wrap our beautiful shit boot. Yeah, cause they would never understand me. No, cause they ain't been through what I've been through. And we never had a plan B. No, but I always been. Hey, John, you gonna help me here or are you just gonna take a look at it? Look at Mashallah. Help me out here. I'm gonna take this guy. All right, guys, so Jonathan's helping me out with this. Uh, so uh, what, what do you have in mind? So we got some fabric from Joann's, right? Yep. So what we're trying to do is we're making a custom shift knob boot. And so I set it on here. This might look retarded because yeah, we don't know what the hell we're we doing. Really <laughs> <know> what we're <laughs> doing. But, but we're going to try our best we're here. We're going to try our best. So I'm thinking like if we have like four lines going down, right? Something yeah. like that. That looks pretty good. We just need to get the fabric onto the little plastic trim piece. So you guys' original boot, you need this little plastic trim piece, so it'll clip in. And we're gonna try to basically spray around an adhesive spray and make it work. I, we really don't know what we're doing here. Um, there's not many good videos on this, so. <sighs> well, just figure it out, I guess. Oh man, and we'll get back to you guys on how we actually did this. But basically we cut out a square. That's what Jonathan's doing right now. And then uh, I'm just gonna do some 3M spray around that thing and we'll just, we'll see if it's ugly, it's ugly. If it's good, it's good. We have a few more attempts, thank goodness. <laughs> I thought he was doing a test fit. <laughs> we got this from Amazon, I mean, uh, 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 AutoZone. This shift knob works with any car, basically just screws universal. into the shift knob, universal. That's what I was looking for. Um, how does it feel, dude? It's heavy, it has some girth to it. Okay, all right. The trim is kind of ugly, but uh, guys, this is not look, this ain't, <laughs> This ain't looking so good. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll let you guys know how it looks in a little bit. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and sand this trim. This is the one I actually wrapped. I just unwrapped it. Uh, wrapped it in this uh, fabric that I don't like anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and sand it off while Jonathan goes ahead and starts working on the shift boot. So yeah, hopefully this thing will look better. All right, guys, so at this point, it's pretty much fully sanded, very smooth. I just gotta dry it off. It's uh, probably gonna go with the heat gun. And then we are ready to wrap this thing and then throw on the new boot and the new knob. <laughs> we're pretty stupid when it comes to this. I mean, we don't know better. We, I mean, we're not professional. We're just learning here. So apparently, you're supposed to put the bracket around it, so you're gonna see this ugly shit unless you paint it. So. Really? Yeah, we're gonna have to paint this. I'm done. You good? <laughs> you good? You good? Damn. Baby? You got a haircut. Why is your hand all cold and shit? You got a haircut, huh? Damn. Why is your hand all cold? I'm cold blooded. I got ice in my veins. <laughs> Anyway, 
anyways guys the knob looks good i definitely gonna need a new boot honestly the trim i think i can rock it so i just need to get a new boot on that meantime finally got this turn signal so let's go ahead and install it real quick Shout out to everyone who placed an order. I'm about to get those out right now. All right, guys, I'm here at Sears Place. He just finished all his work. So we're actually gonna go out, drop off a couple packages, swing by, pick up, we'll see if there's any parts for the E46. We'll probably just get something simple to eat. We'll do something that's unique in this video, don't worry. All right, guys, so we're almost at his house right now. Uh, <laughs> Basically, we're surprising a subscriber with a package that he ordered to support the channel. So shout out to him. So shout out to Brandon. <laughs> He's local. I'm going over to a local area that's around him. So I was like, I might as well stop by and uh, just hand deliver it. If he's home, that's awesome. If he's not. Not Brandon, Ivan. No, that's, that's not Zach. Oh, oh, never mind. That's the wrong, bro. <laughs> My bad. No, that's, Brandon. it's Brandon. Brandon. Yeah, so uh, if, if you missed it, my dude, my bad, but at least he got the package the day after you ordered it, so. All right, guys, we're here at his house. Um, I hope he's home. Yeah, hello, Amazon Prime. <laughs> day one shipping. <laughs> one day shipping with Amazon Prime. All right, guys, so unfortunately, he was not home. It's all good, though. We hand delivered to his mom. She was just kind of like, she was like, what? Like. <laughs> If you see this brand, hit me up on IG, bro. All right, guys, so I'm about to head out to the next location. We're either going to a coal part or a pick and pull to find some things. Um, and then we gotta hit the post office. All right, guys, so we just got out and there was absolutely nothing. So we're just gonna head back and actually we need to go to the post office first and then probably get something to eat if you're down. I'm down. Okay, cool, cool. See at the post office, dropping off the packages. Shout out to everyone who's purchased one. If you guys would like to support the channel, check out the hashtag save BMW link down below. I almost choked on that. That would greatly help. And I try to get it out to you guys the next day. Hey guys, welcome back. This is actually day two of working on the E46, so I actually wanna end up detailing the whole car. But before I do that, there's one last major flaw I wanna get sorted out. I don't know if you guys can see, but for the interior, it pretty much came together other than the driver's seat. That driver's seat is just beyond screwed. The windows all need some detailing. But yeah, this driver's seat is messed up. So I actually found somebody that's about an hour and a half, maybe even two hours away that's selling two front sports seats. It's not M3 seats, unfortunately, but at least they're sport and they actually have the heated seat function. So I'm super hyped on that. So let's go down there, pick them up, put them in the E46, hopefully, and then start detailing. Talk to me, baby, I've been waiting for a lifetime Just keep on fading in all these photos Caught in the memories and captured in the highlights Just keep on wasting Glass after glass, I keep hoping you'll come around Drown in our fights and what, whatever can be found Cause I've given in to all my demons lately These type of roads are kind of sketchy to drive on, especially in a big old car like this. The hell is this? Anyways, let me try to figure out my way to maneuver, find these seats, and then we got a long journey home. What an E90. Oh, it's an E36 M3. Very nice. All right, guys, I am here. I'm gonna hop out and just go talk to him real quick. Hey, guys, so yeah, basically we just picked up the seats. Finally, I got some seats. He's a very, very chill dude. He apparently showed me his E46. He drifts it. He has a full track build. Absolutely insane. So yeah, he was also helping me look for another part. He didn't need to, but he kept on trying his best. Let me find this little part that I needed. Unfortunately, he couldn't find it, but he spent like 20 minutes trying just to look for it to give it to me for free. So shout out to him. He already gave me the seats as is. It's a very good deal. It's a really good dude. Without further ado, let me go home and a long journey back and show you guys what we got. You know the drama. All right, guys, my phone is at 1%, so I gotta go into Rods real quick, find a local store, pick up a charger, because this one just decided to take shit on me. What you gonna do? I really hope it's the head, not the wire. I swear to God, this thing doesn't work. We got lucky, we going home. Cutting the 
That's rough, dude. I ran this thing empty. Well, here we are at Costco. You already know. God bless. 337 for 91? That's what I'm talking about. All right, guys, we are back home. That was a long and rather not enjoyable drive back. I, mean, I basically took the back road back home because there's a lot of accidents on the main road and uh, that ended up causing a huge boredom at its finest. So anyways, I'm finally officially home. Finally be able to swap out these disgusting non-sport seats. And we're actually gonna be detailing the entire car. So I'll have the seats out. I'm gonna be vacuuming, detailing, getting all these windows cleaned up, getting everything spotless. So then we can actually do six cinematics because right now, like if you guys look at the windows, they are super dirty, rear one as well. The wrap is just dirty, I can clean that off, it's brand new wrap, there's nothing wrong with the wrap, but uh, yeah, it's just the windows and this window as well. I gotta clean all the windows, I can finally replace this disgusting seat, and then that seat as well. The good thing is I also got the sports one, so they have bolsters, they have, you know, the bottom portion, and they are also heated, so the heating function should work still. So yeah, I'm pretty hyped for that. Let's just go get the seats real quick. All right, guys, so looking at, let's see if this thing works. All right, this thing seems to be working just fine. So looking at these two seats, the only tear is right here, which we can get that stitched up. It's not a big deal. It's actually very minor. Um, so I'm really happy about that. This rest of stuff is just cracking. I can also clean this up to make it look better. It's not a big deal. It's just super rare to find a sports seat that's not torn up on this car at all. It's like super rare. And then the passenger seat just looks really good. Just needs a little bit of cleaning. They're both miss missing the seatbelt tensioners, but thank goodness my car has them, so I'm not really too worried about it. And yeah, this is the coupe model. So I'll be able to recline this seat and do everything properly. It's not a sedan. So literally, it should be direct bolt on. You know I do it for the family. Yeah, give a fuck about a Grammy. Yeah, cause they will never understand me. No, cause they ain't been through what I've been through. And we never had a plan B. No, but I always been a messy. Yeah, but they would never understand me. No, cause they ain't been through what I've been through. Pull up in the truck, got a stack tuck. I remember I was fucked, couldn't make a buck. Stuck. In a rush, trying to take flight Me and guy in the stew, working late night Gotta keep it real, I can't chill I got bills, I can't sleep till we eat I got work up in the streets Put it all on the line, why they wanna blow my heart Smelling liquor on the sofa, yelling fuck the other side I got a feeling they gon' bang this Do it for the family, give a fuck if I'm famous I just wanna make the whole gang rich And make sure my dukes livin' painless you know I do it for the family, yeah Give a fuck about a Grammy, yeah, cause they will never understand me, no, cause they ain't been through what I've been through, and we never had a plan B, no, but I always been a messy, yeah, but they would never understand me, no, cause they ain't been through what I've been through. Yo, yo, this goes to whoever, weather the storm will never, for worse or better, fuck a Grammy family is forever, like six letter, the first letter, then third. All right, guys, seats are in. Just get the floor mats in. Floor mats in, guys. So check that out. That is super clean. Super hyped about that. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and start cleaning up these seats because uh, they're not the cleanest. And I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the rest of the interior. Door panels, dash, center console, rear seats. Once we get all that done, I'll let you guys know what's next. All right, guys, I just put some light so you guys can see a little more here. Seats are in, interior is pretty much together. I want to do a cinematic once I finish up the rest of the car cleaning it up. I'll probably do tomorrow. The cinematic is probably going to be a different day, like its own independent video, because I want to do something pretty sick with this that I've never done before. So if you guys are excited for that, make sure to smash the like button, because I'm, I'm going to try to go all out. And if I can't do it, I'm going to get my friend Sear. I'm going to try to see if he can help us out here. So at least we can get like a pretty cool seat out of an E46 on the channel. Meantime, I don't know if you guys can see. I put the light on. You guys can see how like... Like in person, it, it has a texture throughout the entire window. 
Uh, I don't know if you guys can really see it. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but it's super, super, super dirty too. So I'm gonna try to go ahead and just clean this off, make this window look super clean. And if we can do it on this one, then we'll go ahead and do it for the rest of the windows, especially the one in the front. It is really beat. Oh, not to mention the rear. God damn, it's gonna be a lot of work. <laughs> well, I'm gonna get to it. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see it, but so much better. Let's do the rest of the windows, boys. All right, guys, when, I've never seen the window so clear before. Everything looks super clean. So yeah, um, right now, I got a protein shake. Uh, I know it's in a little weird cup there. I haven't went to the gym since like, like honestly, like consistently since last summer. I've hit it here and there throughout the entire year, but I haven't really hit it consistently for a very long time. So I figured, you know what? Let's start hitting it back. And the reason I'm telling you guys all this is so you can hold me to it. So if you guys see me not hitting the gym for a very long period of time, be like, yo, Nor. You better get to the gym with your fat ass, all right? Just tell me that, all right? Love y'all. But anyways, guys, that does conclude the video. So if you guys enjoyed the video, you guys enjoyed how the seats came out, and you guys cannot wait to hear the news on the M3, make sure to smash that like button. But without further ado, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.